Hello everybody, welcome back once again, Random Ginger here. And today I am gonna be doing a in-depth look at the electrical engine. I've had a lot of questions on this. Like how does it work? How do you what what are all the requirements to get power from it? Uh, what's it used for? All that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna do one big video explaining everything there is to know about the electrical engine. And um, I, I didn't. I forgot to check what exact um, version of forestry I'm using. I, I'm in um, the Minecraft pack 8.1.1, I believe. Uh, does it say in here? I don't know. Um, <laughs> coughed. 8.1.1, I believe. Um, and by the way, when I say cough. Uh, that's just because there was some silence there because I edited out the cough so you're just gonna um, know that when I say cough that's why there was silence so um, yeah but I'll put the versions that I'm using down in the description but let's get right to it once I make it noon um, okay so first off what the electrical engine is used for is to convert um, EU energy, which is industrial craft, that's what, you, that's what you get from generators and solar panels and things like that. Anything from industrial craft. <laughs> Coughed. And what the electrical engine does is up the butt right here, it takes uh, electrical energy, your EU, and uh, converts it into MJ, which is build craft energy, that's what anything build craft like a quarry that I've got here this is how we're gonna kind of see um, be able to prove the energy is coming out so you can see the quarry is not doing anything no energy is coming out now um, but it converts EU into MJ which is forestry and build craft energy um, and normally without any upgrades or anything circ these circuit boards inside of it it'll take six EU per tick um, and convert it into 2MJ per tick. And I think that's a, that's a pretty equal exchange rate. Obviously, they're different units of energy, so you can't compare them very well. But I think that's pretty much 100% efficiency. <laughs> Coughed. Um, and the nice thing about it is, first of all, um, even though it only takes 6 EU per tick, you can give it as much energy as you want. So, or you, you can hook it up to something with as much energy as you want. So right here, this ultimate hybrid solar panel is producing 512 EU per tick, much more than 6 EU per tick. But yet this thing is totally fine. And it's not even turned on yet. So um, another requirement that it needs to work is it has to be powered by redstone. So there we go. Got that. <laughs> Coughed. Got that lever. There you go. You'll see it start to power. Corey's doing some work now. We're going to turn that off though. Because uh, all, all I needed to show is that it was getting power. So now you can see the quarry's not getting any power because we flipped the lever. So you can control the entire thing with just that one lever. Um, so, and the other thing is, with most engines, when they get to this. It's a nice blue color right now. It's nice and cool. They're not nice and cool. It's pretty slow. But then it'll turn to green, and then it'll turn to yellow, then red, and then with most en engines, they would explode. But with the electrical engine, what's nice about it is no matter how long you run it for, uh, once it gets to red, once it's about to explode, all it will do is shut off, cool down, and then start right back up again. So there's no maintenance needed whatsoever. It'll... Coughed. It'll just always keep on resetting itself, and you never have to worry about it exploding. This is what I use to power my quarry in my FTB Let's Play that I can do. So now, let's get into the great part about them, which are circuit boards. So remember I said, normally, you can take 6 EU per tick, translate it into 2 MJ per tick, but um, with circuit boards, and I'll explain to you how circuit boards work, um, you can upgrade that to be more EU um, for more MJ or you can actually do um, less EU for less MJ uh, if you want to do that for some reason 
or you can also um, use an iron electron tube. There's four different types uh, that you use with this. Copper, tin, bronze, and iron. And with iron, you actually increase the efficiency of the uh, engine. So um, it'll take, it'll require one less EU per tick, but it'll, it'll produce the same amount of MJ. So you can do that. <laughs> Cut off again. So let's get right into those. All you do is you take the sol uh, soldering iron, right click on any open space with it in your hand, and then, so now, basic circuit board. This is the lowest tier of circuit board. Um, it, it used to be the small circuit board. Enhanced used to be a medium, and re uh, refined used to be large. And now there's actually intricate, so there's a fourth tier also. But for the first tier, this one can hold one electron tube. So you'll put that in there, and then it can hold one of any of these. And here, actually, we're not going to put that in there yet. We can put that in there. Um, if I were you, I would always put the tubes in first so you can see what the effect is. Um, so that'll, that, that's a choke. That means that you get um, two less, er, you, you put in two less EU, and you will get out one less MJ. So this would change it from being six to two to being four to one, or no, yeah, yeah, six to two to being um, four EU per tick translated into one EU per tick. Um, so there's, that. that's uh, copper, and now tin, electric boost, um, and that means that uh, it'll take seven more EU per tick, and it'll give out two more MJ per tick. Um, and then if we look at bronze, this is boost two, and what that means is uh, there will be 15 more EU per tick and four more um, output MJ per tick. Uh, that's what it can take. Um, and I'll, I'll put all these numbers in the description so that you guys won't have to keep rewinding the video. Um, but uh, the thing is, oh, I'll do it. I'll tell you iron now. Um, and what iron does, it's electrical efficiency, like I said. And what that does, it'll it'll take one less. Oh, actually, I'm going to turn it to noon right here, so we don't get some zombies or anything. So what iron does is it'll take one less EU per tick, but it'll actually give out the same amount of MJ. So no change in MJ, one less EU. And coughed. You won't have to keep track of all these um, different things because when you create the circuit board, there'll be a nice little tool tip off of, see where it says intricate circuit board by my mouse here? Right beneath that, it'll list everything that it'll do to the, um, to the engine. So now, with these things, the bummer is you can't just put four bronze electron tubes on something and have it be, um, have it produce tons and tons of MJ. Um, what you can do though, um, well, here, the copper you can you can put only one copper electron tube on any circuit board. So even though the basic circuit board can only take one electron tube, enhanced can only take two, refined can take three, and intricate can take four. You can only put one copper on any of those. You can put two tin, you can put two bronze, and you can put one iron. So with that, the max EU per tick you can have is let me pull up the calculator right here. 15 plus 15 plus 7 plus 7 plus 6 so you can have a total input of 50 EU and you can have a total output of 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 14 MJ per tick so a total input of uh, 50 and total output of 14 so that's the maximum um, output input you can have on an electrical engine um, and that would be if you had an intricate circuit board and then you put a couple of bronze and it won't craft um, once there's four electron tubes in here this will automatically go there so you wanna um, that's why I say you wanna put the electron tubes in here first so you go those two two of those and oh, oh oopsies only one of those <laughs> See, I just put a stack in there. That's why I didn't like that. I can only put one in. So now you see there's this nice little tooltip. And, and it lists each and everything that it's going to do. Um, sorry, coughed again. Um, 
So yeah, you can. It doesn't put them all into one nice number, but you can add up those numbers pretty easily. And if you put two circuit boards in that are actually identical, so put a couple of browns in, put a couple of tin in. This is an identical circuit board. You can stack those. If they're not identical, though, say we have um, an iron, a couple of bronze, oopsies, a couple of bronze, and a tin. We can't stack these can't stack them at all so they gotta be they gotta have the exact same effects in order to stack them um, and another thing is the soldering iron or soldering iron or whatever only has um, six uses so you want to be careful about uh, what you use uh, what you use it for so yeah there's that um, well now let's here if we turn this on see it starts working and you'll see it is currently outputting two MJ um, per tick, but let's say we take one of these fancy beast ones, put that in there. Now it's outputting 14 MJ per tick. So you can see the quarry is going much, much faster there. And if you had multiple of these, uh, you would be good to go. Um, yeah, so that quarry is just going to town there. You can see it's still, it still had some stored, so it was still out. It's still outputting some, or it was. Um, here, look if we go like this, that quarry will just fly. You know what? I'm gonna just for the heck of it, I'm gonna hook up a couple more of these. Oh, there, I feel like hold on, I'll I'll mention something else in a second. Ah, uh, shoot. Gotta have it going into the butt, like I said. So there's this right there, right there. So fast. Uh, let's see. Where is the other one that I had? Is it that one? Man, that's fast. All right, that's annoying. That dirt flying everywhere is. Take that out. Let's put that back. Okay, so now let's talk about these pipes here. Um, like I said, you gotta take the EU up the butt of the engine. Gotta put that right in there. Um, and by the way, here I'll show you because this confused me. Oh, say you got well, that's already facing the right direction. But let's say you want to have your quarry right here, and you got your these wires right here hooked up to some stuff over there. Um, you got that right there. That's not right at all. But you got your wooden conductive pipe there. You want this thing to be flipped. What you gotta do, take your wrench, and it's this wrench right here. Or, or you can also use uh, Omni wrench too, if you wanna do that. But you go right here, flip that. Nope. Oh, my dog wants to get out of my room. Sorry, puppy. Um, nope. Oh. Let's make this nighttime or daytime. And now you can do that. And the reason I'm putting this. Okay, Lizzie, hold on. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but my puppy was uh, ringing my doorbell. Not actually, she was just flicking the little handle to my door. So. The reason I'm putting this wooden conductive pipe here is uh, for any engine, not just the electrical engine, this goes for all engines, um, the first thing you gotta have off of the output end uh, is a wooden conductive pipe. And then you put whatever type of conductive pipes you want. I always use gold, because I mean really, in FTB and all that stuff, you got a lot of gold. And for every one gold ingot, you'll get four um, golden conductive pipes, I believe, something like that. Um, yeah, so that's how you do that. Um, you can hook up a bunch of engines like this. If you got, say, you can pipe some stuff down here. And you want to have the engines one space apart. You always have them one space apart. So go like that. Maybe I have some of this stuff hooked up. I'm going to destroy my mob farm, aren't I? Yeah, I don't want to do that. But that's how you would do it. And then you'll hook up your MFSU. Put that on there. Coughed again. 
once again a cough. Man, I thought I was over my sickness. But whenever I start to talk a lot, you know. Oh, no, don't do that. Leave my mob farm alone. Dirty little thing. I want some glass. Yeah, I'm going to put this back. Let's see. Was there anything else that I didn't tell you guys yet? No, I think that's about it. Um, so I hope this was an informative video to you guys. I know my last engines video, I did not know about electrical engines. I hadn't researched them. That was embarrassing. Uh, but I'll link to that in the description. I'll link to my other video if you want to know about all the other engines. Because I, I think it does do a pretty decent job. Um, of explaining the other engines, just not electrical. But that's why you watch this video. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Hope it was very informative to you. And be sure to like or comment or subscribe, whatever. Uh, if you liked it, do whatever you want. And until next time, guys, just have a great day.